Welcome back to Eurobike 2018 and you'll remember one of the major highlights of the show was this from Ceramic Speed and it's a driven drivetrain. For 2019, Ceramic Speed actually have a working model, which we'll show you in a second, but they've also shown you how it should look housed on a bike using specialized S-Works Venge from the American brand, and it's been in their wind tunnel where they've tested the data and actually proven that this concept is aerodynamically more efficient than the chain set and chain driven cassette. And this system actually saves you eight seconds over a range of 40 kilometers. If you're not too familiar with the ceramic speed driven concept, it's this, a carbon fiber prop shaft replacing what we know as the cassette and chain set. Ceramic speed claim this is 99% efficient, 49% more efficient than a traditional drivetrain setup. That's because a traditional chain set and cassette has eight points of sliding friction, say ceramic speed, where the chain links move relative to each other. This system bypasses all of that and offers you that 49% saving. What ceramic speed has done is rethink the drivetrain and instead uses a carbon fiber drive shaft. That carbon drive shaft sits between mesh teeth both at the front and the rear of the drivetrain and is orientated transversely rather than inline. Top that off with very low rolling friction bearings that are durable and a 13 speed drivetrain offers a very fast ride prospect. We're going to find out what else Ceramic Speed have been up to, which is a working model that they have here at the Eurobike show. This year for Driven, we're now able to shift the drivetrain. The way it works is we use a split pinion design. The rear pinion will actually move axially with the split here. We have a master and a slave. To initiate a shift, the master on this side of the pinion will move over to the next shift channel. As the pinion rotates around, that master grabs the new gear, and as it continues around, what we call the slave half of the pinion then follows into the new gear, and it continues through. One other thing you might notice is we have areas where there's no tooth misalignment and heavy tooth misalignment. This shifting mechanism can shift anywhere on the rear cog. If it happens to pick a shifting area that's in the heavy misalignment area, we have what we call as a torque decoupler. It's essentially a synchronizer. When the pinion moves over, the synchronizer is released and this will allow a perfect meshing of misaligned teeth. So the master bearing then essentially self-aligns in the misaligned new gear and it rolls through and the torque decoupler releases itself after the shift is complete and then it continues on all the bearings in the same plane in a new gear. So at the show, Ceramic Speed had a fully working, rideable single speed version and a separate gear changing version which isn't rideable. So within the next eight weeks, I'm told that they're hoping to bring those two together to have a fully rideable bike. So what do you guys think of the updated version from Ceramic Speed? We are very excited at Cycling Weekly and cannot wait to get a rideable version in the office, probably or hopefully as soon as next year. Tell us what you think in the comments section below, but as always, please do like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more great content.